was uh, I've been walking around in this energy suit we call a body for quite some time observing mankind and I'm like man this is a crazy ass world we have all these divine beings that have forgotten their gods Jesus even said, doesn't it say in your scriptures that you are gods? Continually wanting to reveal your divinity. This is what the word avatar means. It means that it is deity in the flesh or deity in an energy suit. What does this mean for you? Well, when you learn to awaken that avatar, you can begin to let go of fear, Anxiety, OCD, doubt, rage, anger, depression. But you can also stop being afraid of bullshit like COVID-19, getting sick. You don't have to age. You don't have to die. Scientists have been proving, the studies have been going on for quite some time, and scientists have been proving for many, 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 many years now, there's a, a field called epigenetics in which They've basically proven that what you believe you'll manifest. Ah, big shocker, I know. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Buddha said, what you think you become. We are living in an amazing moment. A moment of awakening. Of awakening your true nature. Of awakening and unlocking the potential of the avatar, the body, the form, the energy suit that you've been running around in. And as I talked in yesterday's video about stop believing that you are the body and start believing what you, you really are and that the body is not just its memory. I want to talk on that memory level, belief on a memory level. So as I said yesterday, there are many different levels of belief that really one of the most devastating levels of belief is our memory. This is why the high life is so important. When you live in even like heaven's man, a heaven's manna kind of high, I talk about it here, you can begin to really shake the memory level so you stop your mind, stops your short, especially short term and even long term memory. It, it kind of impacts it where you are living more present, more present, more present, more present, and less in a projection of your memory. And so if you're not remembering something, well, then how can you identify as that memory? So many people come and they're like, well, Silas, this cancer runs in my family, so I'm probably going to get cancer and die by the age of 50. What in the fuck? What are you doing? Wake up. That's just a memory, and you're believing it, and that's really what genetically gets passed on. It's, I want to let you know this. It's not just passed on at a memory level, though. It's passed on at a genetic level. Your cells are remembering this is what we are. You can begin to change it, but before you can change it at a cellular level, you have to begin to change it at a memory level. What does that mean? That means when you remember that cancer runs in your family, shift it, you get to change the memory. You get to change. No. Stop saying cancer runs in my family. And start reprogramming the subconscious. You can reprogram the, program the subconscious by twice a day, first thing in the morning, and last thing before you go to bed, when you're just drifting off to sleep, say in your mind or out loud an affirmative statement like, I am healthy, I am whole, I will live forever. And when you make these affirmative statements, you're changing the subconscious or habit energy of the mind. That's just this background energy that most of the time people are completely unaware of that drive them. This is where OCD comes from. You want to shift OCD. There are things you can physically do to change your OCD or depression or anxiety. But you can also begin to change it by stop claiming that shit. On a memory level, just because you have experienced it doesn't mean you have to continue to experience it. Just because you've gotten sick doesn't mean you have to continue to get sick or will get sick. So that is a, a belief. And based upon your belief, you're manifesting that shit in your body. You are, your body is a divine energy suit. 
it is impermanent in that it will continually change and shift. You can make it whatever you want. According to your belief, let it be unto you. The problem is you've believed that it's this, this is what it is, and it's dying. It's aging and dying. So we have to shift that. One of the ways that you can shift that is every morning and every night, wait, go to sleep. I am whole, I am well, and I will live forever. And really feel this, I will live forever. Now, this is just a memory level uh, shift in your belief or in your consciousness. Now, we're going to take that memory level, but this is where it's got to start in order to get it all the way down into that, that cellular, on that cellular level. So start there. Start by shifting the way that you're seeing your body, the way that you're seeing this avatar, and begin calling it forth and speaking forth. Allow the words that are coming out of your mouth to be a positive affirmation of what you truly are, and you're shifting your belief away from this is what I've experienced based on my memory into this is what I know I am. I believe this. I am this. I am statements are powerful. I am divine. I am healthy. I will live forever. These are statements that you need to begin to make on a daily basis. And after uh, about 30 to 40 days, typically your subconscious, if you've done that and you really feel, assume the mood of the fulfilled desire. So feel this, I am eternal. Feel this, I am divine in your body, running through your body. And after 30 to 40 days, typically your subconscious has been changed, at least on a memory level, a habit energy level. And now we can begin to move further and deeper into the cellular levels. I hope this helps. Remember, check out check out the earlier videos because they're really going to be powerful in helping explain. If you haven't already watched them, watch them and help it explain some of these things. And we're going to continue to talk about awakening that avatar to its fullest potential. If you have any questions, drop them below, please.